Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Virgo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, Virgo. Now, this could be your energy, or it could be someone else. I feel it is the other person. I feel, actually, that there is someone... Um, and you are quite unaware of this, but there is someone who has uh, been keeping their feelings a secret for you, I feel. I do not have any secret cards here, but it is what I am picking up, that uh, this is and has been a secret for some time. Now, it could be that... Um, it, it could be... I mean, it could be... Uh, an ex, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it it could be somebody you know, um, somebody uh, you work with. It could be uh, a friend. Um, who, whoever this person is, they lack the confidence to tell you how they feel. Because they don't, uh, how would I say, they have um, doubts that, uh, that, that they could actually uh, have you or, or, or that you would actually be interested in them. That's a, a better way of putting it. Um, so they're lacking this confidence uncertain uh, if this could really happen, if it, if it is meant to be or not. And so what they chose to do instead for some time now already is uh, hide their feelings for you. And because they figured it would just be easier, you know, because this person, they don't like a lot of drama. Um, I feel like they have been running, uh, from these emotions. Uh, here they say, oh, you know, it's much easier to deny these feelings. So they, uh, they prefer not to look at it, you know, but, um, uh, <laughs> you know, they're thinking it's much easier to hide. Uh, and again, we get the same message up here. It was much easier to hide the, these feelings from you. Um, it didn't. It didn't turn out that way. It actually turned out to be much harder than they thought. Okay, because the feelings they just didn't go away. Instead, they grew stronger. And so this is what has been happening with this person. And now you see uh, on top of these cards. Look, denial fighting it and then we're on the verge so they're fighting a losing battle is what I think it is and so now they're on the verge of confessing their feelings to you this is uh, where they stand where they are it is the current energy they're on the verge and they're hoping that see again this goes back to confidence they're hoping uh, that you will be willing to listen to them so it's almost like they're afraid you're going to turn them down flat. Somebody uh, has romantic feelings for you. This Eight of Shields in this deck is a card of romance. It's a card of falling in love or um, renewal of love. This can also be uh, a reconsideration. Okay. Um, I feel... Frankly, I feel like there's been a lot of procrastination on their part um, because of their own personal issues or personal demons having to do with um, feelings of self-worth and value, perhaps. Um, so this person has uh, some very deep feelings for you. Uh, again, this is someone who doesn't like drama, and so they, or rather, what they fear, 
uh, they, they see drama ahead of them uh, because they're they're in fear. I mean, it all comes from that energy. That's why they see drama in, uh, in front of them. It's this. So they prefer to, uh, or so far they have preferred to walk away even though they were very much interested. Um, here we see um, that they're trying to keep their emotions under control, but I, frankly, I feel like they're losing the battle. Um, how do I proceed, really? Um, this could be somebody also with this. This can be a card of being driven. You know, it's like the, the, the emotions they feel for you. It's, it's like they're going to drive them forward. Uh, and place them right in front of you, whether they're ready for it or not, because the emotions are winning here. So they are on the verge. Um, at the root here, this is a decision. Uh, for some of you, this is going to be a reconciliation, someone from your past, but it's not going to be that way for everyone, because I'm strongly picking up that you uh, you have no idea that this person feels this way for you. Okay. And so um, here we see somebody uh, somebody coming. Okay. This is the arrival of someone uh, with a message. And typically, because of the cards it is coming with, we know that this is good news. Um, it is also possible that this with this card the person who is in love with you comes out of your past, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a past love. It's simply somebody you know. In, in, in other words, it's not somebody brand new in your life. It is somebody you know, whether that's a, a past love, whether that is a friend, uh, whether that is a, a, a somebody you work with. It is somebody who is already uh, known to you. I'll put it that way. Who's going to uh, bring you some information having to do with uh, a new opportunity. Something with a lot of potential. Uh, something you will have to make a decision on. And for some of you, that would mean wiping the slate clean, starting again. Listen, <laughs> I, I, I really feel this connection is divinely guided. Honestly, I have judgment here three times. I have it at the root. I have it here. Uh, and I have it here in the future. So it's almost like, uh, I almost feel like, <clears throat> okay, it's, th this, this is going to happen. You can't put it off. You can't deny it. You can't run from it. It's going to happen. This is a divine union. Yeah, it's like, again, I got that message of somebody. Uh, they show me an image of somebody being swept up and then whoosh, and delivered right to somebody's door. Yep. And so <clears throat> for this decision, adjustments will need to be made in the emotional uh, area for someone, um, possibly for both. Um, so adjustments need to be made or that this person is actually currently making these emotional adjustments to prepare for a future event to prepare for a decision that is going to take place or that is concerning a future event something is changing something is transition transitioning because before they were in denial now they are no longer they realize they're fighting a losing battle here so they're going within with the grail knight uh seeking answers on how to proceed with this right and here we have these um this four of swords energy so this is somebody again they're preparing 
they're regrouping and thinking things through because their plan their, their plan for denial it, it, it ain't working and so um here we have these um you see there's two people in this card they're preparing thinking things through the three swords re on the wall there they they represent the present worries and concerns over this this thing that's hanging in suspension you know and that is whether they can actually have this or not right that's their biggest fear that the door will be slammed in their face and so there's a lot of worry and concern about something that is in a state of suspension and the sword they lie upon uh, is is there ready to be called into action at a moment's notice so the moment he's ready he will take action on that which is suspended he's hoping here in this energy to find out how to proceed to do that it's like as soon as he finds the way the solution uh, well, that sword is ready to go into action. That sword is representing some type of communication. And so, again, with this decision, he's going really deep. With regards to the Nine of Love, which is coming forward to, uh, and Justice, uh, and, and the Nine of Swords all together. Uh, this is their, um, their emotions. Uh, this is about uh, their feelings uh, surrounding opening up their heart to somebody and speaking the truth and telling them the truth about how they really feel. This is what this decision is all about. Because they've been trying to deny this and, and, and thought it would be easier just to, just to ignore it, but it's not going away. Those feelings are getting stronger and something needs to be done. Action needs to be taken. Nine of Swords says they're dealing with their own uh, inner demons, so they have some uh, bad experiences related to most likely issues of abandonment or rejection, trust. And these are serving as uh, an obstacle for them uh, to, to come forward. And so what we have here is the uh, fire fairy, the Merlin, and the king. And so uh, the fire fairy is about putting, putting our thoughts and ideas into action. You know, it's, it's bringing illumination. So clearly the fire fairy is, is going to show this person the way. It brings things out of the dark. It lights things up. Fire. So, she will show this person the signs and omens to support that which they are trying to create or to support that which they seek to know. She gives hope and courage and right now he needs that courage. She gives hope and courage and ensures that your dreams come true if you take action on them. In other words, uh, this person must take the action. They will do everything in their power to show them and guide them, but they, they themselves must do their part. She is a sign of positive outcomes uh, for the efforts that are taken. So I kind of feel like this person there's a lot of overthinking um, here, imagining the worst. Merlin, um, you, this person, you or they, whoever this is, can summon Merlin to help you find the answer. Well, this ties in with the fa fire fairy because um, they're saying that if you summon Merlin for the answer, uh, you will receive it. 
pay attention to the signs because your answers are not in the obvious places. Um, Merlin could be asking, uh, what do you need to do? Or what do who, do they need to do, whoever this, whoever this energy belongs to, to bring uh, balance into your life? Okay, well, what do they need to do? They need to take action. They need to change their, their thoughts. Okay. The king. Well, let's, let's see now. Oh, look, you see, we have strength here next with the, uh, with the dragon. Um, so the king is uh, about order. Um, he, uh, well, he's basically telling, uh, whoever this is to put your house in order. It's time. Take action. Complete any unresolved issues. Deal with them. Take care of anything that's left undone. Uh, that, that covers anything but I mean this is a love reading so uh, you know make amends uh, uh, speak uh, your heart speak the truth because he's somewhat like the justice card so uh, the king acts with intelligence and strategy he thinks things through you know, so with that king here, over here, this king of cups, you may need, or they may need, whoever this is, to keep their emotions in check, especially when it comes to the nine of swords, okay, and think logically, because a lot of what they're thinking probably would never happen, you know, a lot of their worries. So, um... It's a reminder to think things through and pay attention to details. Once again, I will say uh, they are saying pay attention to the signs uh, and take affirmative action in your life. Make the necessary changes, adjustments with temperance uh, to restore balance in your life or to bring something to balance and so um, this person is on the verge of telling uh, someone how they truly feel and they are going to do it there's no denying they cannot run from it anymore and the hand of the divine is kind of pushing their back that's the impression you get from this reading with the last judgment here here and here justice over here it's time to speak up nine of love here this is a card of expressing uh oneself emotionally telling the truth wow i mean um it's time Time to take action. This person, I know that they, they, they have a lot of fears here, but you know what? The magician is saying that they have everything they need to do this. Everything. They just need to believe it themselves. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.